This tutorial is called Creating a Vector 4-Leaf Clover in CorelDRAW. For St. Patrick's Day, let's create a 4-Leaf Clover or Shamrock. To create the image that we will use for this illustration, I used Google and the Images option to open and download pictures of 4-Leaf Clovers. From those, I drew out a rough sketch of what I wanted our clover to look like. You can use this technique to make your sketch as detailed as you want it to be. Let's lighten the image a little so that we can see our vector lines more easily. Select the image, go to Effects in the top menu, click on Adjust and choose Hue, Saturation, Lightness. Use the slider to turn the lightness up to 50. And you can now see that the image is lighter. Another way to help in seeing your lines is to change the size and color of the outlines. Make sure nothing is selected. Choose Outline Pen from the tools on the left. Go down to 1.5 point and select it. This gives you a 1.5 point outline. By default, there should be a palette on the right side of your workspace. If not, go to Window in the top menu, click on Color Palettes, and then choose CMYK Palette. Click on your Bezier tool. With the Bezier tool selected, Go over to the palette on the right and left click on the box with the X. When the outline color box pops up, click OK. This left click on the color palette chooses what fill color we want. And since we don't want a fill color, we're choosing no fill represented by the X. We do want an outline color, so right click on the bright blue cyan color. Again, click OK when the box pops up. Now we're ready to start recreating the logo and vectors. Go to your Bezier tool and create a line all the way around the entire image of the clover. Use the zoom tool as needed. To use this, click on the zoom tool. Your cursor turns into a magnifying glass icon with a plus sign inside of it. Left click to zoom in, right click to zoom out. You can also use the wheel on your mouse to zoom in and out. We're going to create each leaf separately. Starting with the left leaf, create the vein that runs through the center of the leaf. For the remainder of this tutorial, I will use a red outline to indicate the objects I'm referring to. On the lower section of the leaf, create this larger area. Note that the bottom of this object is placed slightly above the bottom of the leaf until it gets closer to where the leaves meet at the center. Now create the shape at the bottom of the previous one. Also extend the bottom of this shape well below the previous shape. We're going to use the shaping tools to make this shape fit perfectly within the previous one. Now go to Arrange in the top menu and choose Shaping, and then Shaping again. This will open Shaping on the right side of your workspace. Click the small arrow on the Shaping palette and choose Intersect from the drop-down menu. Select your last object that you created, go over to Shaping, and click on Intersect With. Now click on the outline of the previous shape. This creates a third shape where the two shapes have overlapped. Select the shape at the bottom that extended further down and delete it. Now you're left with a new shape that fits perfectly within the larger shape. Next, create this shape. You can extend this well above the previous shape because we're going to use the same process to intersect the shapes as before. Select your new shape, click on Intersect With, and click on the larger shape. As before, there's another shape created where they overlapped. Select the shape that extends above the others and hit Delete. Now you're left with three perfectly fit shapes that make up the lower section of the leaf. 
use the same process to create the upper section of this leaf. Start by making the larger area again like so. The bottom can overlap slightly into the shape of the dividing vein that goes through the middle of the leaf. Go over to shaping and to the small arrow again and select trim from the drop down menu. Select the vein and click on trim. Now select the object we just created and the shape of the vein will be trimmed from this. Create both of these shapes extending them well past the edges like so. Select both and go over to shaping, choose intersect and click on intersect width. Select the larger object that they are overlapping. Now you can select the top and bottom extended sections and delete them. What you end up with is the three sections that make up the upper portion of the left leaf. Use these same techniques that we used for this leaf to create the inner portions of the other leaves. Create the stem next. Start with this section extending it past the right outside edge. Select this object and intersect it with the outline that goes around the entire clover. Now trim this lower section of the right leaf from the new object. Delete the original object extending below. Create this section and extend it on the left side. Select the object and intersect it with the previous one. You can now select the original image and delete it. There are numerous ways to add color to something in CorelDRAW. As you use the program more, you'll develop your own techniques. For now, let's go to Window in the top menu, go down to Dockers, and choose Color. Go to the Color Palettes option on the right side of the docker. Choose a dark green color like 349C. Click on the word outline below the palette to apply the color. And click fill to fill these objects with the same color. Choose a lighter green, something like 347C, to fill the larger area of the leaves. Use a still lighter green like 344C to fill the thinner highlights. Use a black for the objects in the center of each leaf. Repeat the two lighter shades of green to color the stem. Use this darker green which is a 350C to fill the large area that surrounds the entire clover. With the large object still selected, go over to the Outline Pen tool and give it a three-point outline. Make the outline black. Select everything, then shift-click on the large outline around the outside of the clover to deselect that object. Go over to the Outline Pen tool again and choose No Outline. Your four-leaf clover is now complete. I suggest checking out the companion tutorial to this one that goes more into working with color. It's called Coloring Vector Art in CorelDRAW. And thanks for watching.